All right, seeing as how YouTube was more than happy to make me waste a bunch of my data on a video that they wouldn't let y'all watch, I'm going to have to change the way I do things a little bit. But if they're prepared to double down on their strategies, I'm prepared to double down on mine. All right, big tech and social media was warned. Trump had them all come to the White House and they had a little chat. And they said they understood what he was talking about, that they would abide by the Constitution. You know what? They're full of shit. They're going to double down on everything they're trying, and that's why you can't live stream from your phone unless you have a thousand subscribers. So seeing as how that's their attitude, I have no choice but to continue on. <coughs> We're ready to flip the old motor over here. I've got my crowbars in on this side. Sorry you missed the reinstall of the oil pan and the oil pump and all that. That's just the way it goes. But they think you'll quit. You'll get frustrated and you'll leave. And that's how they'll gain their voice. So don't expect that you're not going to get screwed with even more than you already are. Because that's the game. They want to take your voice and they want you to give it up voluntarily. I suppose the question is, are you prepared to let that happen? And just how far outside your box of normal are you prepared to go to make sure your voice is heard? Oh, we're going to turn that down. God forbid the copyrighted song comes on. Anyhow, did you know that I have to pull the transmission out of this too? I forgot to mention that. I have to pull it out of there for what should be obvious reasons. And then on the in-between, I have to uh, work on the cross member and do a couple things to the transmission because for some reason or another, after you run this thing for a while, it'll blow all the fluid out. And that's completely unacceptable. Transmission fluid is expensive as hell. So we got to get it down, get it moved, clean up that nasty spot. some of you have found out by now I'm a lot like the magnetosphere the more pressure you apply to me the harder and more impenetrable I become and that has to do a lot with the experiences I've had in my life I used to forgive everyone of everything and just move on well after a while I realized that that wasn't working for me. I'm the kind of guy who flips somebody a 20 and not ask them to pay me back. But if they say they're going to, I totally expect it to get done.
equal over the years. I didn't like my change in policy. That's why I spend a lot of time alone and I very seldom ask for help when I'm doing something. just how I do. But I usually manage to get the job done. So I'll go to the parts store and buy a bag of oil dry? I don't think so. I'll go to the department store and get a bag of kitty litter, which is basically the same thing. Uh, I don't think so. I scoop some ashes out of the stove, throw it over the spot, and let that soak it all up. So did it work as well as I hoped it would? Eh, not really. But it worked. Turned it from a gooey mess to a minor mess, which I can live with. But in my not-so-humble opinion, we don't have to go by the book. We don't have to do it like everybody else does it. That isn't how nature does it. The deer must remember the hunter or put itself in danger again. The bass must remember the hook that got caught in its mouth if it was lucky enough to get away. And we would all do best to remember the things that have happened in our lives that made us who we are and learn from them and potentially adjust your behavior accordingly subject to unfair use. So what's the moral of today's story? Number one, don't screw with me because I'm not like everybody else. I'll react in a way that's unexpected, but that's just me. But in my opinion, again, not so humble. That's the way America needs to be. We've been far too forgiving for far too long. Far too accepting of things that we know go against the fabric of our society, making it possible for people to take advantage of us. So, and that has to stop. We're only going to get more of the same. And we are just not in a position to be able to afford to take that attitude anymore. We must protect this house, this hotel, this country from utter destruction from people who have ideas that go against the foundations of this country. People who have opinions that if they scream loud enough, they think we'll just roll over and accept. Well, they didn't have to suffer to establish the Constitution, the laws of this country. They didn't have to fight and die. So in my opinion, how dare they think they know better than the people that did. Catch you next time, guys.